Welcome back, folks. This is Frank from the BI Forums, and in this Arma 3 video, I want to show you guys how to set up the command line for your Arma 3 dedicated server to get mods to run on that dedicated server. I already had a video that shows you how to upload the mods onto the server, but then I kind of left you in the wind on how to actually get those mods to run on the server. So let's just clarify that right here, real nice and quick, and get it out of the way. But before I go into that, actually, let me explain that not all Arma 3 dedicated server providers have a command line manager. I've had many people say, my server doesn't have a command line manager. Well, in that case, you had, first of all, you made a poor choice in choosing on uh, Arma 3 dedicated server provider, but that's all right. There's still hope for you. Just open up a ticket to their tech support, ask them for help. You can even just tell them to copy and paste the dash mod equals command, which I'll go into in a second, into your command line for your server, and they'll do it for you. And it should be simple. They should be cooperative and all that. Anyway, assuming that they give you the tools to do it yourself, like I have here. These are my hosts. I pay $7.50 for my server, and I can't complain. 10 slots, fucking 2 gigs of RAM, which is terrible, but I don't care. I get what I pay for. Anyway, moving on. Let's go into Command Line Manager. Most server providers should have a Command Line Manager of some kind. I've had three different server providers for Arma 3, and they've all had one, so... It should be pretty fucking straightforward, honestly. You could figure it out. There's also a website. I'll post in the description of the video if it lets me. YouTube is getting worse and worse with posting links and shit, but I will try to post a link in the description of the video that will pretty much tell you exactly what all the commands you can have in your dedicated server's command line. Anyway, we're just going to go on how to have the mods. So just look at this command right here. Dash mod equals at name of your mod, semicolon, name of your mod, semicolon, sem you know, you get the idea. Let's actually go into that. So right here, we have, your command line will basically look like this. Dash mod equals, and then at whatever the name of the mod is, semicolon, no spaces, by the way, make sure there are no spaces in the names of the folders of these mods also. For example, let's say you have at a space three in your Arma 3 directory of your, of your dedicated server. So for example, let's say you have... This will not work because there's a space. You have to replace the space with an underscore or just get rid of the space altogether. And you gotta do that all, not just here in the command line, but also, you know, rename the folder of the mod in your dedicated server's Arma 3 directory. Simple as that. So hopefully that makes sense. It's best to use lowercase letters because supposedly that's better with Linux. Or that makes it Linux compatible. I don't know. I don't know anything about Linux, honestly, but there you go. And your command line will be dash mod equals fucking at name of your mod. Separate it with a semicolon, not a space. There are no spaces in this again. At whatever the name of the fucking mod is. Semicolon, and then so on and so forth. And even your final mod in the list will also have a semicolon at the end. And that's it. That's, whoa, that's all you gotta do to have the fucking mods running on your dedicated server. And that's it. And, and I guess to clarify again, these are mods that are uploaded to my dedicated server. And the at, for example, at Taliban Fighters is, an act, is the actual name of the folder in my dedicated server's Arma 3 directory. That's the actual name. I'm not making shit up in, in the, the command line or making any tweaks or changes to the names of the folders or whatever. It has to be identical. Anyway, that's it. You click fucking save. Oh, wait. In this case, I have to get rid of dash mod equals because my server provider's command line manager already has the dash mod equals. It's going to take seven years to save it. There you go. Anyway, saving it now. As you can see in the command line here, should not be dash mod equals dash mod equals it should be just dash mod equals and then the names of the mods and that's it anyway you guys get the idea if you need any more help with this shit let me know i will try to help you in the comments section i've answered these questions so many fucking times in the comments but i will continue to do so despite this video even being made so hopefully this helps but if not then i don't know i'll, I'll try to help you but i can only do so much anyway Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, great. Like the video. If it wasn't helpful, then you dislike the video. You tell me to go fuck myself. I don't care. I really don't give a shit. Anyway, fuck out.